Welcome guys to Grayson Stadium, home of the Savannah Bananas. And you guys know I'm a huge baseball person, as you can see with the videos before. But this is a little travel trip in Savannah, Georgia. Um, and they are famous for now the Savannah Bananas. Savannah Bananas was created in 2016 by Jesse Cole. And if you know about the whole family structure, it is amazing. I know they've done a whole documentary on it. But Savannah Banana Ball is a little different. It's a little different from your typical baseball. Look at it like the Harlem Globetrotters take baseball in a different way. Their motto is fan first. And we're gonna head into Grayson Stadium and show you guys around the facility. Head over to the office and showcase the updated facility. A little bit update, the stadium is getting renovated for their brand new tour. And where's the tour going? All around the country. Yeah, we're gonna take a look around and see what's quirky about this stadium, what's historic about Grayson Stadium, and maybe if we see any ghosts here at Grayson Stadium. And I'm gonna switch my hat right now because we gotta go into Savannah action. So welcome to Savannah, Georgia, home of the Savannah Banana. We are now in Grayson Stadium, home of the Bananas. They are getting a renovation right now, so it's not so pretty, but they're adding in new seats. Fun fact, Grayson Stadium is a historic landmark in Savannah, Georgia, so it is very difficult to update stuff when it's a landmark, especially when it's very historic. As you guys know, Savannah has had a lot of history between wars and the very past, making it one of the spookiest ghost towns in the whole country and also the world. But Grayson Stadium is very unique to itself. We turn around, they are redoing the backstop and all the seats. But there's something unique about the stadium that really sticks out to me, especially from the broadcast side, is the press box. Look at the press box right here. It is just floating. And Aubriana actually works up there during games for marketing. And let's see if we can see. That is how you get up there. You walk up these stairs, you come up the little catwalk, and it goes right in to the press box. We're not gonna go up there right now. She says it's a little sketchy and also renovating, so we're not gonna mess around. But something very unique about the stadium. The stadium has a ton of history to it. Had a ton of teams come through here that have not been successful trying to play summer baseball and uh, you know the summer ball leagues for college players to the independent leagues. And none of them have done well until the Savannah Bananas came into effect. And uh, the Cole family wanted to change things up. They wanted to make a different. Banana ball is completely different, it's unique. It pissed off everyone in Savannah. And what did people think about it? It will fail, but when you put your mind to it and you want to change things up and make things different and make something unique into the world, people officially catch on. And that's what happened. Banana ball became a thing and created this fabulous feel. Good answer. You see at Grayson Stadium. So Aubrey is gonna talk about their little unique things about the stadium, but let's go take some B-roll shots and see the beauty of this amazing field. So welcome to Grayson Stadium. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay guys, I just came out of this clown box and you're probably wondering, why is there a little clown box here in the middle of the baseball field? Well, the Savannah Bananas, as we all know, are very unique. Each kid on the team has their own talents. Some of them are good at juggling, some of them are, can play the piano, they can play the guitar. Some are great dancers, ballet dancers, to being on stilts and hitting a baseball. The Savannah Bananas is all about being different and being kind of unique in this world. And baseball has never really had that. And that's what people love about this, is the bananas are just different. They like to have fun. They like to be competitive. These guys are all college players, minor league players, and former 
professional major league players. And it's very unique. When you got a bunch of great players playing with the bananas and you show off their skills, where they can charm people in the audience. It just makes for a great entertainment and it's good baseball at the same time. And the fun thing about the Savannah Bananas is, I'm gonna get stuck in this. <laughs> so we're here in the Savannah Bananas dugout. Grayson Stadium, it's hard to update. It is unique, it's historic. Yes. And when it comes to that, it's hard to make upgrades. I kind of like it. It's a very unique dugout here. It's not like what I'm used to back in California it's and a lot scrappy. of scrappy. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute here. It, it, it's not really sunken into the ground. They kind of have a block right here where probably a ton of guys strip over, but that's totally okay. And what really makes the bananas stick out to the world and how people notice them is the skits they do during a game. And the marketing team works very hard on coming up with the players' ideas and helping them produce good content. It's not just a baseball game. Uh, they like to do skits in between innings, between pitches, to get the fans all riled up. And a little bit behind the scenes on how that works, Ariana can kind of explain a little. <laughs> yeah, so during the game, um, we are very fans first focused. So every minute, every second has to be entertaining for fans. So whether that is skits, dancing, you know, the players going up into the stands, handing out roses, interacting with players, um, very fans focused. And that extends into socials. So we are constantly doing anything. I mean, I'm sure you've seen the TikToks, even if you don't know the bananas, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, so anything funky, whether that is doing flips on the field or dances, reenacting, you know, funny moments in TV, um, anything and everything, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time. Yeah, so that's what put the bananas on the map. And it's fun if you guys decide to work for this company in the future. I don't even call it a company, it's an organization. It's a place where family comes first, fans comes first. And the players maybe come second. I'm joking. Because <laughs> <laughs> a little opposite from a typical professional team where the players are the first and fans are third. But this is a fan first organization. They care about, they have unlimited food deals. If you pay your ticket, you get unlimited food, which she was explaining to me yesterday is very unique. I don't know how they do that. And I no fees either. We don't put fees on the tickets. Yeah, so a uh, little compliance working with Major League Stadiums because they want the money through their concession stands. Well, the Bananas team is fighting that and wants it for the fans. So if you guys attend a game at any of the professional stadiums, say thank you to that organization that owns the stadium because uh, they had to go through a lot of hoops to stick to their plan. The bananas are different, they stick to their fan base, and they want to make a change in baseball and organization. So as you can see, they are renovating Grayson Stadium, pretty unique. You can see the old benches that they used to have. Uh, probably got some splinters in your butts if you were standing here, but very unique. It's a very Southern vibe. I honestly love this stadium. I'm super happy that the organization took this over, bought it, I mean, not bought it, the city owns it, but took it in as their own and are help updating this old janky ballpark that has a ton of history to it and turned into something new and modern. So welcome to the stands of Grayson Stadium and we're gonna loop our way around right now. So you just saw a quick video of Grayson Stadium and look, there's some seats and some benches updated right now. We are in the future. We are about four months into the future on St. Patrick's weekend and the Bananas just finished up at LSU. They had their big banger at uh, Houston at the Houston Astros MLB Stadium, which was a sold out. Amazing, amazing game, amazing crowd. Uh, Man, congrats to them for everything that has come from the bottom to the top. This is a quick little update. I want to make it quick. Grayson Stadium is officially updated since I am back. And it's not really fair to show you guys what the old version looked like. We need to show you what the new version looked like. So welcome to Grayson Stadium. It is updated. We're going to quickly walk around and show you guys what the new updates were between the outfield pavilion, the other outfield pavilion over there, what stands in the outfield, updated behind the backstop seats right here. 
and a little bit more, maybe a little updated batting cage out there in center field that you guys can't see, but we're gonna walk around really quick. So welcome to the updated Grayson Stadium, home of the Savannah Bananas. Something unique about Georgia, as I've only been here for a couple hours or a couple days, 24 hours pretty much, is they love their alcohol here and they like to be unique. Bananas like to do it different too. And as you can see with the banana selection right here, you can get yourself a banana beer. Sounds very interesting, sounds delicious. Or the best seller, the slippery banana cocktail. I don't drink alcohol, so I wouldn't be able to tell you if it's good, but I was told through friends and people that I met yesterday, it is very delicious. And don't forget, the party animal punch. And yes, you're talking about who the heck are the party animals. Well, it's not just the Savannah Bananas here. They have the party animals and they just released their brand new team, the Savannah Firefighters, which Aubriana wants me to try out. You guys know I did play college baseball and maybe I will try out. Maybe I'll do some content stuff for them, but maybe I'll be on both sides. Who knows? Who knows where life will take us? but they have three teams now here in Savannah and they will be going on tour. So it's not just the Savannah Bananas. All you ladies out there that love the firefighters, I assume there's some be firefighter drinks you can get and maybe a firefighter will step up here and make you a cocktail. All right, so that's it from Grayson Stadium. We showed you guys the field, showed you guys the facility and you need to come out here and check out a game in Savannah, Georgia, but they are going on tour and Aubriana's gonna tell you about the tour and the new tickets that are coming out and the deals of what you guys can do to see the firefighters, the party animals, and the bananas on tour. So take it away. Yeah, so we had our first ever live draft this year. It was amazing, it was incredible. I wanna say we had over 2 million uh, views to our lottery system within an hour, and we already had like 300,000 signups. So if you're looking for tickets, what you do is you go ahead and find the lottery list put your name in and then applications will open about two months before the game um, that you can go ahead and try and grab tickets. They are a little bit limited, so go ahead and hop on that now if you are interested. Um, and if you are a big fan, you can sign up for a K-Club next year and then you can get early access to tickets. So when Jesse Cole first bought the team, he basically sold everything, his house, and a big story where it was, a, it was a, you know, trying to make the American dream, uh, make, make the American dream happen. And the office was inside the stadium in a little tiny office. Well, they've upgraded to outside the left field behind it in a brand new building. We're gonna head over there right now and showcase. Maybe one day you guys can work for the bananas and help grow this office, but it is a little bit getting renovated upstairs. We'll show you, you guys downstairs in the facility and Aubriana will teach you a little bit more about it. Yes, I will. All right, so we made it over to the Savannah Bananas office. It is across the street. Stadium is right there. And now we are in front and Aubriana's gonna explain to you the work environment and some opportunities that you guys might be interested in coming in the future. 
Yes, yeah, so the banana is just like what you see for the team players and on game day is an amazing environment to work for. So if you are wanting to get in on the action a little bit, but you're not located in Savannah, we are looking for help at every city that we go to on the tour, whether that is helping out in the merchandise stand, you know, selling t-shirts and goodies that way, um, helping with stocking or game day teammates and actually coming in and working concessions. You can go ahead to the website and check out the employment page and apply for that. Now let's go ahead in to the office and check it out. So welcome to the Savannah Bananas updated office. That was the Savannah Bananas, and welcome to Savannah. The trip is gonna start now. Talk about our sponsor, My Whistlebox. My Whistlebox is a doubly encrypted service that allows you to keep your private information safe and exchange information securely between parties. My Whistlebox offers you e-signatures, privacy, notes, whistle pages, a ton of other cool features, and a better alternative than email. So if you're using email to send or receive private information, stop and start using My Whistlebox. Sign up today to get started with your free account. No payment required. There's no reason to not start today. Happy whistling. It's Saturday, it's football season. USC is playing Utah today, and officially I'm probably not gonna see the game again because we're going on a fun adventure. Where are we going? We are going on a ghost tour. If you know about Savannah, you know that it is the most haunted city in the United States. So very spooky, it's Halloween season. We are taking a ghost tour in a used hearse. So. <laughs> yeah, a used hearse. So I am not looking He's forward to that. Scared. I don't He's really scared. deal with ghosts. This will be interesting. So we're gonna showcase that tonight. Hopefully we can catch a ghost on camera. Uh, if not, you'll see Michael shaking. Yeah, I'll, in his be, I'll be shaking and her dad will be yelling, laughing at me the whole time well, that this guy's a wimp. Last night, we enjoyed a night out. And if you guys wanna check out what we did, here's what we did in Savannah on night number one. Wasn't talking a lot, but welcome to Savannah <laughs> night number one. <laughs> 